When your devices start sending data, the next step is to define how you'll make sense of it. In this walkthrough, we'll cover three things. How to build dashboards to monitor and control devices. How data streams connect your device data to those dashboards. And how to speed everything up with blueprints. Let's start with dashboards. Each device in Blink can have its own dashboard. From there, you can add widgets like gauges, charts, or buttons, whatever makes the most sense for your use case. This is your control panel for real-time insights and actions. Want to skip the manual setup? Blueprints come with pre-configured dashboards built in. Just select a blueprint, connect your device, and your dashboards are ready to use across web and mobile with support for multiple views and devices. Now let's talk about what powers those dashboards behind the scenes. A data stream is the connection between your device and the widget it powers. Each data stream defines a specific type of data, like temperature, humidity, or a switch state. Data streams can also be configured to store historical data directly on Blink Cloud. To display data, you'll first create a data stream. Choose the data type, set any limits or units, and link it to a widget. As soon as your device sends data, your dashboard will update automatically and in real time. You're not locked into defaults either. You can customize each widget, adjusting its size, scale, color, labels, and more, so your dashboard feels just right for your project. Once everything's connected, you'll start seeing live updates on your dashboard. This gives you a real-time view of how your device is performing without needing to check logs or code. To recap, dashboards let you visualize and control your devices. Data streams link the hardware data to on-screen widgets. And blueprints help you launch faster with pre-built dashboards. Now you're ready to build your own interface and bring your data to life.